Hi guys, Mel the Train Tutor here again with another quick tip. And in this one, what we're going to be looking at making easy canvas out of these. These are baby wipes. Now we've all made what you call it canvases out of paper tarps. Yeah, and you know the moment they get wet, they start ripping and they're a real pain in the backside. Yeah. And once you've got kids, these sort of things, these baby wipes become a standard in your life. You always have them. And what I did one day is I thought, well, let's give them a go. Yeah. And what I did is I dried one out just to take a look at it. Now the benefit of these over what you call it, over paper tarts is they're actually fabric, yeah? So they don't tear apart. They soak the moisture well, they hold paint well. Okay, and what I wanna do is give you, show you a couple of examples of where I've used them. And then I wanna show you how, how to use them, okay? So what we're gonna do is go cameras down. Okay guys, baby wipes, yeah? Dead simple, as you can see, I've dried it out, put it over the radiator, and these are great to work with. All you need to do is use a pair of scissors, and I'm just going to cut this up just to show you how easy it is to work with these. Scissors are actually better than using a uh, sharp blade such as a scalpel or a crafting knife, to be perfectly honest. Now, let me show you some examples of where I've actually used these. Now, this is one of my chimeras, okay, and this tarp on the top. That is a baby wipe, okay? And all it is is soaked in PVA and put over the model. And that's all you have to do with it. Now, obviously this is on a, on a vehicle and what you wanna see is where it's used on terrain. So, this is a small medical unit I built out of baby wipes. Yeah, and as you can see, they, they imitate canvas really well because obviously they're material. Yeah, so throw them over a frame and you get some really good effects. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do something like this. Yeah, what I'm going to do is last night, I mocked up this, two doorways. It's just foam board, okay? And then what I did just is I cut myself out two pieces of a baby wipe. <laughs> and what we're going to do quickly is I'm going to show you how to make two sort of canvas screens for these doors. One with a solid back and one with an open back, so to speak, clear. And just show you how to use them and then we'll take it from there, okay? So, here we have a mixture. Just let me give it a quick shake. This is the mixture of watered down PVA I did in my PVA Back to Basics video. And it's just a rough 50-50 mix. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I get my baby wipe Scrunch it up, just so you know, I've got a damp cloth here, yeah, because this is, this is gonna get messy and you will wanna clean your fingers off, so a damp cold cloth works best. Yeah, and I'm just gonna dip it in. Yeah, and it is simple as that, and as you can see, it's a bit like papa mache It soaks up the, the PVA really well. Then all I'm gonna do is bring it to the back, drop it over the door a bit, lovely isn't it and as you see because it's watered down pva straight away it'll start to sort of adhere to the surface now don't worry about it sort of hanging down remember this stuff is going to be wet for quite a while so you've got plenty of times plenty of time to manipulate it in fact i'm going to pull this up a bit because it's dragging a bit at the bottom yeah this is a bit of a have a play yeah like i say it's very forgiving so don't stress yourself. And a little bit of foam board. I'm just gonna put that there, just to sort of adhere the top, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and then straight away, you can see we've got the canvas hanging down. And then dry my fingers quickly, move that out of the way before I knock it over. Yeah, I've got a crafting tool here, you know, the standard Games Workshop seconds, cheapo ones. Yeah, and all I'm gonna do is whilst holding the top, I'm just going to oh, I'll slide it down just a little so I can adhere on the bottom. Yeah, so there's actually moisture at the bottom. All I'm going to do is this. Well, in fact, I've done this wrong. Sorry, guys. This was supposed to be the solid back one. So I'll take that off because I can. And then I'm going to put the solid back on. There we go. Sorry, guys. Right. And then all I'm going to do is very simply do channels. Yeah, just push it down. Remember, it will adhere to the 
And the trick to making realistic looking canvas is to get the creases going down right. I could really do with one in the middle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that across. Yeah. Can you see what I'm doing here? All I'm doing is I'm literally just dragging the creases across and moving it round because as it's still wet, yeah, it will let me do that. No problem whatsoever. And just try and get the creases to look something like they're hanging down. Yeah. Then, uh, I haven't got any to hand at the moment, but tweezers would be good just to pull this away. There we go, pulled it away a bit. And like I say, this is going to be wet for a while, so I'm going to have a, a play with this while this carries on recording, so you can see how it pans out. And all I'm doing is just moving the creases around. I'll bring them in, I'll stretch it in from here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll stretch it in quite far, because what that'll do is it'll give me lots of creases. Just let's get this one down. Yeah, it's looking better. Straighten this one off. It's a bit like sculpting, to be perfectly honest. It's one of those things that you've just got to give a go. And once you give it a go, you know, you'll start to get better. Yeah, there we go. And then probably just, just so it isn't so flat. Scrape a bit in from that side, move it that way. And then I'm just going to pull it up to the door. Same on this side. Just pull it up to the door. Yeah. Let's see. Need to get that crease in there. Yeah, and as you can see, yeah, I've put some creases on there. I'll probably have a play with them as it dries because obviously, as it dries, it goes a little bit tacky, a little bit stiffer, and it lets you just play with it a little bit more. But once you've got your basic crease shapes, you're good, virtually good to go. Now, a little word of warning before I sort of take this any further, okay? I tend to use Pampers. Okay, don't use cheap brands of baby wipes. And also, look out for what's actually embossed on them. I built a friend of mine, uh, some walk, some orc terrain. And neither of us noticed until about two months in that he'd got little teddy bears embossed on all his canvas. <laughs> Literally in the corner of the doors, there was full little teddy bears. So just be aware of what material's actually embossed on it. I mean, this stuff, this has got nothing embossed on it. I think there might be a slight flower, but that's never going to show up. So now I'm going to do the other one. Okay, and I'm going to scrape that down just like that. Yeah, I'm going to come and turn this around to the back. Like I say, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is messy, so it's a bit arts and crafts. Just enjoy it. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm going to scrunch these up more this side now so I can get some better creases, to be perfectly honest, because the ones on the other side weren't that brilliant. So push that down there, push that across there a bit. Yeah, now we're starting to cook on gas, as they say. Right, and what I'm going to do quickly is that bit of foam board. I'll use that just to pin off the top while I'm working with it. Yeah, remember that will dry. Hopefully. Doesn't help when it sticks more to my fingers than it does to the... There we go. And like I say, that's just to hold it in place. And then we come around the front and we've got canvas. So what we're going to start to do again is manipulate it. So let's push... Let's pull that up a bit. Yeah, push that in there. And what I'm doing is I'm basically just getting it to the edges because it would be hanging indoors. I'm scraping that round a bit. In fact, I might want to raise this to be truthful. So, grip it. Raise it up a bit. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm concentrating more on the model than I am on the video. But do you see what I'm doing there? Okay, all I'm doing is I'm manipulating it so that the bottom of the baby wipe reaches just about to the floor and it's not draping too much. Yeah, uh, push that across there a bit. Is it? There we go. And then what I do is put that on there, stay, turn it round, and you've got your immediate canvas door. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that out a bit, squish it up, drag it out. There we go. 
So that one's going that way. And then this one, it's sort of folded out on itself, so move it round. Sort of push it in and then pull the edge out, if that makes any sense. Oh, don't you love the stickiness of this stuff? Now what I'm trying to do guys is sort of show you what I'm doing at the same time as doing it and it's not easy. Okay, rough and ready I think it's going to have to be. So grab that, pull that all the way out and push that bit down, turn that out a bit. That side I like. That side's not bad actually. Ooh, caught on the edge. Right. Ah, da, da, da. Yeah, and I'm just teasing it. So I think what I'll do for the sake of the video is just very quickly just leave it at. You can't just leave it at that though, can you? You've got a mess. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is. I think I'm going to leave it at that to be perfectly honest. Oh, it's just slightly not hanging. See, this is where it's a benefit of making sure it actually touches the bottom because what you can do is you can actually f flatten the bottom like I'm doing there. Do you know what? I think that's good enough. So what I'm going to do now is, see that guys? Okay, nice and simple. One solid side with some nice creases on it and the other side hanging. Now obviously this is PVA and it needs to dry. So the next part of this, I'll come back to you soon and you'll be able to see it dry. Just quickly, if you've got any excess, wipe it with your cloth and you'll be fine. Oh, cross there. Very arts and crafty guys. So guys, I'll come back to you once this is dry and we'll take it from there. See you in a minute. Right guys, it's been 24 hours. I'm still wearing the same t-shirt. I told my wife that it was called continuity. She told me it was called disgusting. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. This is completely dried now. And a couple of things I wanna quickly show you is how tough they are when they're dry. So baby wipes, I've got a little corner here. Yeah, and I can literally give this quite some hammer. Now obviously it is still only a baby wipe covered in PVA, so it, is, it isn't completely rigid, it's not molded plastic, but it's tough enough to paint and to game with. On the front you can see that our ridges on this one are quite tough, and on this side, yeah, you can see that these are set and they're not moving. And so basically the PVA is dried and it's hard in the baby wipes and it's good to go. Now, I'll be honest with you, this isn't the best job I could do with it, but, you know, I was in a rush and I wanted to show you. Now, a couple of things. On this side, you can actually still make out a little bit of the embossed pattern. Now, if you really want to smooth that out, once it's dry, just put a thin layer of neat PVA on it and just smooth it out, and that will give it a smooth covering. Okay. Another couple of quick tips. You don't have to wet the PVA, uh, the BV, sorry, you don't have to wet the baby wipe in PVA and then stick it down. What you can do is when working from the back, you can take it dry and you can just simply simply run neat PVA around the edge, stick the, ba the dry baby wipe down, let it dry overnight, okay? And then once that's stuck, come back and then start adding the water down PVA and that'll give you, It'll be more fixed and you'll be able to play with the creases more to be perfectly honest. Another way of doing it, if you really want to do a master class and you know, I'm a little bit disappointed on the folds on this side. So one of the things I could have done is if I turned it round, I could have folded this over more at the top and then simply use pins to put it in and hold it in place while it dried. And that would have given me more creases, so to speak. Uh, Another quick note to say, painting them. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again, PVA is not waterproof. And when it's put on a baby wipe, it especially isn't waterproof. 
So don't assume that you can just lavish and paint this like crazy. What you're gonna have to do is get your base color, make sure it's nice and thick, yeah? And get it down in as quick a coat, quick and gentle as possible, and then let it dry. If you soak this stuff, it will become loose again, and you will start having to move the folds. So base coat it as quickly and as gently as possible, let that dry and work on from there. I tend to find once it's got a base coat on it, it's actually a lot better to work with with paint. So that's it guys, that's covering how to make quick and easy canvases from baby wipes. So make sure you keep a lookout for Pampers because I've found they're the best so far. If you find some any other good ones, let me know in the comments and if you've got anything to add or any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, if you've liked it, like it. If you like the channel, subscribe. I'll see you in another video real soon, guys. Have fun. Ta-da.